Alright, say hi. Alright. Hey world, how y'all doing? I'm back again with another video. Um, the music I'm about to play in the background, I don't own the rights to this, so just letting people know. I have my beautiful wife right here. Come on over here, Queen. She been uh, in there getting her rest on, her beauty sleep. Got my beautiful daughter right here. Come here, princess. Everybody know her. What's your name? Delinga. What? Delinga. Say hi to the world. Right. Hey, world. Our family. How y'all doing? Okay, so today we will be um, preparing um, oxtails and um, oh, potatoes. Mm, oxtails. With, uh, with, um, with a, um, it's going to be like a soup. So, yes, like I said, I was coming back with another video a little later, but dinner time is now. But uh, this song right here, man, is dedicated to people that's, that's you know, going through something right now, man. God is really, hey, listen to this song. It's called Deliver Me. And he will do, do just that. Give me your whole heart, man, your whole heart. to keep faith. Keep faith. Do the devil. My favorite scriptures is James 4 and 7. Submit yourself to God your wholeheartedly, man. You know what I'm saying? And rebuke the devil, and he will resist. He will resist. Mm. This is my favorite song right here, man. Because it's what I'm asking him to do. It's already done. You just got to do the work. Song right here, do something to you. Yeah, gotta get all the glory. Get all the glory. So, with that being said, kind of got kind of lost a little track, man. I hear that song, it just hey, nobody but me and the Lord in the room, man. You know how they go. God will show up, you show out. So, so these are the oxtails that we will be cooking and uh they got two different kind of oxtails they got the swift and they have another name of them but um the swift kind of like don't have that much fat on them like the other ones do i don't like all that fat so i, I think i will be trying to um kind of trimming a couple of these up with the fat trimming them off but like it really ain't good it's kind of uh, kind of meaty, but kind of not. Because when you chill the fat off, you really ain't getting too much. But um, I'm not a fat guy. You know what I'm saying? Like, I don't like too much fat. On certain things, but not too much. Okay. So, me and my beautiful wife will be preparing oxtail with potatoes. And I want to do, I want to do them scallop potato, but I'm, I'm going to go along with whatever my wife wants to do. So. So actually what we do man, we don't use uh, tap water because as y'all know the tap water, I don't know if it's down here like that but anywhere else they be showing parasites and all kind of stuff into the tap water. So if it, if the water is no good, another, another thing too, 
Um, if it's not no good to drink, I wouldn't let my child take a bath. And you and women shouldn't either, because if it's parasites in there and you run your bath water, they could scram up in you, and you wouldn't know until a, a few, probably a year or two, before you realize you're getting sick. Not even, not even, not even two years, but probably like a few months, six months to a year, before you realize that you have something in you, even, even the insides up. Because that's what they are hosts. So you might want to be careful with the water, but we, we basically are alkaline water people, so we get it from an alkaline place. So it's really healthy water. Um, actually, my wife turned me on to that too. You know what I'm saying? So she uh, actually discovered Dr. Seedy too. Whoever don't know about Dr. Seedy, you should go on there and Google him. He'll take some really healthy benefits. So, therefore, um, shout out to my wife once again because she liked to eat healthy, drink healthy. Me, I was like that because I didn't care. I, I was a junk eater, but I'm trying to change my eating habit, man. It's just pretty hard. You know what I'm saying? But I'm, I'm one day at a time. One day at a time. So, I'm about to get some alkaline water out of our water machine and put it in the pots. Another song I love too. And also, I want to touch on this right here. Um, pa Pastor Jenkins, it's a pastor online named Pastor Jenkins. Man, he he speaks the truth, man. You should go on there. Shout out to pa Pastor Jenkins for being a true pastor, keeping it old school, like back in the old days. Man, he he's he's the truth. So go on there, Google him. Put him in your life, man. You know what I'm saying? Not saying he's going to change overnight. It's still going to kind of be a struggle. But the, like I said, like I, my, my wife was, had been telling me, you do something for 30 days, put it in your life and become a part of your life. You know what I'm saying? And, and, and write down five goals that you want to that you want to change about yourself. And I'm challenging you about that too. So um, another thing is uh, what you feed your soul, man, is what you get out. And this is another thing too, man. If you listen to a bull crap, hang around bull crap, that become a part of your life, man. So you become bull crap. And this is real talk, man. So let me tell you. If you um if you can just do less talking and more hearing, it'll change your life too. Especially from not not coming from people that speak in ignorant, but divine people, man. You know what I'm saying? And uh, also um that's all I took basis on that too. So Honey, you got anything you want to show with the family? That's about the name of Actually, oxtails, if you want them falling off the bone, um, it takes, I, I, I do three hours. You know what I'm saying? But the, the fat is what makes them tender and makes them uh, uh, actually be juicy. And uh, so I'm not going to cut all the fat off. I'm just trimming a little bit. But it also makes them cook a little faster. So, um, yeah, so just let you know. But if you want to cook it for three and a half hours, the, more you, the longer you cook them, the tender they get. So. Oh, 
What you want to do with these oxtails, man, is um, turn it up, bring it to a ball, but you don't want to cook them like that because just like cooking fast, so you want to bring it to a ball and then turn them down to about probably like a five and a half or six, six, 
something like that, five and a half or six. That's what I would cook. That's what I would cook them on. And um, just let them do the thing. They cook themselves, man. You know what I'm saying? So. on let them do their thing man my wife she make the scallop potatoes so uh we're gonna wait till they don't take that long to do scallop potatoes so you can put them on and let them simmer slow i mean the you know, potatoes are hard so you gotta make sure you do let them cook but um lost so that's what we're gonna have for dinner is uh oxtail and scallop potatoes and um this is how i cut them up to make them scallop y'all just in slices a whole bunch of slices. We're soaking them in alkaline water. Shout out to alkaline water. And, and we talking about, it's probably a gang of alkaline water out there, but it's only one real alkaline water. And also shout out to Fuji water, man. If you want the best water, alkaline water is where it's at. Make sure it's the real alkaline water and the Fuji water, man. That's why any water that costs a lot of money in the store, buy it. Cause anything that's 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 healthy for the body is gonna cost you money. Real talk, just like super unleaded plus, uh, unleaded plus. Putting that regular in your car, it's gonna cost you in the long run. You might not make it to hundred fifty thousand. You heard me? And if you got a new car, you sure don't want to put the unleaded unleaded in your car unless it have the octane ten percent and uh, you put the treatment behind it. You know what I'm saying? So you definitely want to do that, man. Have a long life at your car, man. So it's just like your body, man. Want to put the best in there. And all the time, you might not can't afford the best, but when you can, do what you can do. All the soldiers, man, that's that that God them going through. Hey, but I'm still here. How many people out there can relate to this? Hey, but I'm still here. Yes, I am. God be the glory. Loneliness. Hey, but I'm still here. I made hey, another day. Come on. God kept me here. Come on, can anybody out there say, hey, come on. Now, anybody out there can say that? Another day journey. I ain't got the voice. My wife the one who can sing. She been anointed with that voice. I don't know if y'all heard her sing, but she can sing. She can sing. Many times I've been lied on, but I'm still here. Can y'all relate to that? How many times y'all been lied on? God got favor for you, man. I'm seasoning. I'm seasoning the scalloped potatoes. I had to bear so many birds. Hey, but I'm still here. Can y'all hear that out there? I had myself some dark days, but I'm still here. Hey, Another day journey. God kept me here. Hey, come on, come on. How many of y'all can relate to that? Still here. Mm. 
when you didn't know where your next meal was gonna come from. Man, when you can put food on your table, man. Who can relate to this? Roof over your head. Car note. <laughs> Feeding your kids. <laughs> Paying the bills. Mm. He always does. Who can testify to that? Hey. Come on. When they, hey, when they counted me out, how many can relate to that? When they count you out, say you weren't gonna mount to the nothing, huh? You, you be, you be the one that they, they come through <laughs> for everybody, man. How many y'all can testify to that? Baby, can you testify to that? Huh? Listen, listen. Come on, hey man. Oh, 2020, man, was a heck of a year, man. Look what God got you at right now, though. Got breath in your body, man. Mm. Grace of God, man. Mm. Yes. Had to live away in the midnight hours. But come on. Woo. Man. Come on, come on, come on. Hear me out. It wasn't nothing you done that deserved to wake up this morning, man. That was the grace of God, man. Yes. That was the grace of God. Just a nobody. Just a nobody. I'm trying to tell somebody about my Jesus, man. Yeah, I'm cutting up some onions and putting them in there too. I done turned this to a guy, so it was we, we still on the same, we still on the same station. <laughs> but you know, God show up, he show out, man. A ain't no shame of my God. Ain't no shame because you go you get to that gate, he's gonna be shaming you. So you better praise him while you can. That's real talk. God can use anybody. Addict, alcoholic, donkey, bush, fire. He'll speak to anything, man. When people say, oh, then he count you out, man. But God see potentials in you, man. And that's that's real. That's real. And those that can testify to that, man, I know y'all know what I'm talking about. Because God ain't going to use nobody ain't no been through something. Believe that. Believe that. Y'all hear this song, man? I can relate to this. I can relate to this.
Mm. So, basically, what that song is about is just for nobody, and it, and it brings tears to my eyes. But it's basically about this man that's singing this song right now. This this man right here. This is this is him. He's talking about. He's talking about himself. He used to be a nobody, right? He used to walk the streets and he was an alcoholic. But see, God sees God sees something else different inside of him. You know what I'm saying? Nobody wants to let him in his house, not even his family. So he walked the streets, man, homeless. And all he kept saying was just telling people about Jesus, man, that he ran into. Nobody wanna listen. But when the realm of God, you you can be changed, man, in a blink of an eye. And sometimes when, when, when the struggle is real. The devil going to rock you harder, bro, because he don't want to lose a soldier. He want everything God got, man. So it brings tears to my eyes because if I don't know where I would be if it weren't for prayers that I'm, I was leaning on, my wife, my mom, and, and, and coming to the realm of the Lord, man. And I'm still struggling with some demons right now. You understand me? But I don't know where I would be at right now because prayer changed things, man. You know what I'm saying? That's the same dude right here saying he's just a nobody. He 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 made it. He made it. He made it. The same people they counted out. They counted him out. He making the music right now, talking about God. You see what I'm saying? That's what just a nobody means. So when somebody say you ain't nothing, man, listen, rebuke that man, cause God sees something better than greater than you, man. They didn't make you. They didn't breathe breath in your body. God did that. He come from the same ground you come from. But guess what? Dirt you come from, dirt you gonna die from. That's what I'm saying. You gonna go right back to dirt, man. And that's real talk. So when somebody say you ain't nothing, man, you would that and walk on and smile. Because my God is bigger than that, man. He's bigger than that. I'm telling you. Man, it, it's real. It's real. It's real. Man. When God rescued me I had to change that heavy mm. And set me free Well, y'all, so now it's a waiting game Um, it's gonna take probably about three hours About 7.30ish, 8 o'clock Um, they should be done and I'll come back in here and I'll, um do the scallop potatoes with onions and minced garlic and it's seasoned really good and so um, yeah that's it we'll be back um you want to cook cornbread with it or no okay no cornbread all right well guys it'll be a part two so look for part two all right guys love y'all always remember to like subscribe and share bye